Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to a new video. Um, in this video, I would like to share with you my experience uh, using the uh, USI stylus that comes with, uh, came actually with the uh, Chromebook that I'm using right now, which is the HP um, 360. And I'm gonna put a link to the description below of the unboxing of this Chromebook. Um, this Chromebook actually came with a USI stylus from HP and I would like to share my experience today about the uh, like the writing experience using this U USI uh, um, stylus. Uh, I have another video uh, using a one by Wacom tablet uh, to show you the experience using that tablet with the Chromebook, the same Chromebook. And uh, in this video, I'm sharing my experience with the with the stylus. So we're going to use the same uh, apps that I used um, with the one by Wacom tablet in the other video that I, I shared. Um, and I will leave a uh, link in the description below to that video if you'd like to, to take a look at it. I will use the same applications and the first one I have here is Squid. And as I mentioned, Squid is usually uh, is the best app to use to write down, to take notes and things like this on, on Android. Um, so we, you can download that on uh, a Chromebook as well using the, the Play Store. And uh, you will see, so here I'm writing with the, uh, with the stylus. So testing this app, you will see that the lines are actually, uh, they are very nice. Um, the, there is not much uh, jitter when you're using this USI uh, stylus. Uh, palm rejection is not the best. Uh, and I'm actually using um, a glove right now so that this page doesn't jump on me. Uh, so as you can see that the lines are, are actually uh, very good. Uh, it's very smooth and they come, um, there is no really lag, you know, when you uh, when you try to write on the screen using this Squid app and the USI stylus. Uh, that that wasn't the same experience I had with the uh, One by Wacom tablet. Uh, the lines weren't really as as good, so it seems like the tablet is the issue, not the app, because with the USI stylus, uh, as you can see, the lines are are actually uh, very good. Uh, this is not an extensive uh, review for this app. This is just to show you um, how the USI stylus uh, works. So this is the first app I would like to share with you. And the second one is uh, the Chrome Canvas. And this app is, uh, is mainly for, for drawing and it comes uh, preloaded with uh, the Chromebook once you set it up. And uh, you will see that, uh, again, the, the experience is, is not bad, but the, the lines are, uh, the, the, they are a little bit laggy when, uh, when I'm, when I'm plotting a line here, it's a little bit laggy. I don't know if you actually can see uh, this lag or not. The lines are not uh, squiggly or, or broken. They are actually very straight when you do a diagonal line or if you do uh, like a circle like this um, and when you're writing as well. So, um, but as you can see, the, the, the page could keeps uh, moving even though I'm actually wearing a glove, a glove to, to, uh, so that this doesn't happen. Um, obviously, when you're using a drawing tablet, uh, that's not really an issue because you're not really touching, your palm is not really touching the screen. But when you're writing down on the screen using a, a USI stylus, it's a little bit uh, different. So you're going to have to watch out for the palm rejection. Um, so obviously, this app, when you're using a tablet, is much better than if you're using a USI uh, stylus. Uh, Cursive is the is the next app, and it's a PWA app that you can um, uh, open if you search for Cursive uh, using your Google Chrome on uh, your Chromebook. It's not going to work on uh, on Windows or uh, or Mac systems. Uh, it will open, but it's not going it, 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 to. will be able to navigate through to that um, uh, PWA uh, app, but you're not going to be able to, uh, to to work with it. It's only on Chromebook. And this app is very simple. Um, you just have a pen and then you have um, um, a marker, an eraser, and a few other things, but there's not much uh, that you can do with this app. It's a PWA app anyway, so it's like you're running or you're taking notes um, um, here. You're taking notes on the cloud, essentially. And uh, again, the palm rejection is not the best here, uh, but the writing experience is, is not bad. So you see, the lines are are, uh, are straight. There is no uh, jitter in those um, lines, and you can see that uh, 
the, the text is, is is actually very clear. So it's not it's not bad. It's not bad to uh, to use. Um, it's not the best when you're dealing with um, PDF files, and that's why um, I always test opening a PDF file on Google Chrome because I think this is the best experience so far. It's free, and it's the best experience. So if I, I have here the um, this test uh, PDF file that I uh, that I created before the video. And you will you will be able to see that when I double click on it, it opens on the Chrome browser. And on the Chrome browser here, you have this pencil on the top right corner, the pencil icon. When you click on it, you can actually see a pen, a marker, and then uh, on the right side you have an eraser. You can actually select the color, and then you select the thickness of the line, and then um, as you can see, you can just uh, take notes on the PDF file. So let me just. Uh, change this to black and then if I zoom in a little bit you can see uh, that you can actually write down uh, there is no lag when you when you're uh, plotting or or taking or writing down on the screen so this is actually a very good app to uh, it's not an app as I mentioned in my previous video it's uh, it's just opening a PDF file uh, using the, the Chrome browser when you double click on it. But you can now, um, using the uh, the pen or the pencil uh, icon on the top right corner, when you click on it, it opens um, this panel where you can actually select a pen and uh, write down on the on the screen. Uh, obviously, you can change the thickness, but the, the more thickness it, it is, it's a little bit, uh, um, it's not as smooth with, with, uh, compared to smaller uh, thicknesses. Uh, but it, it actually works very well. So if you would like to take notes on a Chromebook, uh, on uh, a PDF file, if you would like to uh, like annotate a PDF file, that's actually, I think this is the best option. Or if you have a USI stylus, you can um, open them on a Squid uh, if, you're, uh, if you have a su subscription uh, for Squid and you, you write down on, you take, you take the notes on your PDF uh, on a Squid. This is uh, a, a good experience as well. Uh, so those are the two best experiences, the, the squid and obviously when you open the PDF file on um, the Chrome browser. So this is just a quick video to share with you my experience using the USI uh, stylus that comes with this um, HP, uh, HP uh, X360 Chromebook. And I'm going to put a, a link to the description below um, for the other video I created with the one by Wacom tablet and uh, the unboxing for uh, for this Chromebook and uh, you can actually see the uh, the experience uh, yourself so thanks everyone and um, uh, we'll see you in the next one